Hello, I'm Joshua Cunningham. Welcome to my most recent show at Groveland Gallery, Time Taken. Most of the paintings in this show are from 2023, 2022, and then a couple trickled in from earlier than that. Uh, this show is different than most shows in that it's, every show is personal, but in 2022, I had terrible back pain, couldn't sleep very much, couldn't drive very far, couldn't do much of anything except for walk and pray, to be honest. And even painting, I would have to lean on the wall in my studio, or if I was in the field, I'd have to lay down and take breaks. And so it just wasn't particularly feasible. And so most of these paintings come from the period following back surgery in which I'm slowly working my way back. And and so there's just a lot of healing and refinding your confidence. And in my thinking about the show, I was thinking I need to get back out there. At this time had been the injury had taken time from me. Most of the paintings in this show are from the Driftless, which is really near and dear to my heart. So that's where I went to heal. And every tr day trip into the Driftless feels like an adventure. The valleys follow the creeks and the creeks all drain into the Mississippi River and they do that by every which impossible way. They don't follow the same path. And even before you get down into the creeks, there's this preamble the, of the hills, the fields that are flat will start to roll. And in this painting, we have that rolling is just starting and it's accentuated by the hay bales. When something, a place touches me when I'm out there, I don't really inquire much beyond, okay, what has my attention? And then what around that which has my attention is contributing to that feeling? And then composing around that. And so I want it to feel as natural as it felt when I found it. And so when I am, everything that happens after that moment is really me leveraging over 20 years of painting, all my training, all of the artists in art history whom I love from Sargent to Wyeth to Soroya to Metcalf, and the list goes on and on, to painters I know personally now, to my mentors who trained me, to the mentors who trained them and trained them and trained them. I mean, you really stand on the shoulders of giants, and not so much giants because they're famous, but giants because they were big enough to share what they learned with someone else. And then they pass the baton. And so and then it comes to you. And so then we do it too. We share it in our work. We share it in our teaching. We share it with our kids. We share not just the craft and the technique and everything else, but there's a real genuine gratitude and love of your materials, of the process, of the place. 